Hello Zabian, I am the author of Welcome Home. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and learn about what made Welcome Home what it is today. The journey begins in 2016 when I'm asked to give a talk on finding home through poetry. Moments before I take the stage, I completely forget everything that I planned to say. So I just told myself, Najwa, say what you need to say. I get up there and these words come out and they feel like they have been aching to be said for so long. The biggest mistake that we make is that we build our homes in other people. We build those homes and we decorate them with all the love and care and kindness that we want to come home to at the end of the day. And when those people walk away, those homes walk away with them. And all of a sudden we feel empty. Now that emptiness doesn't mean that we actually don't have anything within us. It just means that we put it in the wrong place. And the emphasis shouldn't be on the fact that someone took so much from us. The emphasis should be on, we are the source of what we give. You are the source of what you give. So if you are the source of that love and care and kindness and compassion and forgiveness, that means you can recreate that. And this time, instead of putting it in a home outside of yours, you choose to put it within. You choose to invest it in yourself. You choose not to seek validation that what you have to give is worthy by seeking shelter in someone else's home. In other words, you don't wait for someone to welcome you into their life, into their home, and welcome what you have to give for you to say, oh, if they accepted what I have to give, that means that what I have to give is worthy. That means I am worthy. We are changing that narrative. I am worthy because of who I am. I am worthy because at my authentic core, I deserve love. I deserve to be treated with all that care and kindness that I gave so easily and openly and maybe am still giving to everyone else around me. I deserve all of that without waiting for someone to welcome me into their life or into their home. Therefore, I will build a home within myself for all of that, to preserve my self-love to preserve my ability to forgive myself and others, to preserve my compassion towards myself and others, to have a space for myself where I'm able to achieve clarity on who I am and what I stand for, to have a place within myself where I am able to surrender to my emotions, both positive and negative, to have a dream garden where I can focus on living my dream, living my purpose. Those are all names of chapters or rooms in Welcome Home, where I teach you what self-love looks like, where I teach you what forgiveness looks like, compassion, clarity, surrender, the dream garden. That's what Welcome Home is all about.